Here it comes, stop 34 of what has been shortened to 42 because of a resort closing because of no snow. But we're here today at Willard Mountain and this is Chick and Chick. We've got plenty of snow here. Yeah, we're, we're in pretty good shape considering what we're going through. We have three trails on our extreme left um, that we probably will not have open this year. But other than that, we're, we're at about 80% open and, and that probably is where we'll stay at. And what a shame that some people just don't realize with no snow in their backyard, the amount of snow you have here on your hills. Yeah, you know, people are amazed when they come around the corner and uh, all the way up there thinking, geez, there's not going to be any snow when they come around the corner and uh, voila, we have snow. And actually we've had pretty good skiing conditions for what we're going for what we're going through. You know, I, and, and I've been traveling all over the state over the last uh, 30 plus days over here, and you know, it's amazing that everybody's conditions really seem to be a lot better than anybody gives them credit for, and snowmaking's come a long way over the last few years for sure. Yeah, snowmaking has come a long way, and along with snowmaking is grooming. Uh, better equipment, better technologies, uh, better better trained employees kind of the whole gamut has just gotten better as, as a lot of things have over time now I see you got bus loads coming off here right now so you got the kids in tonight and uh, what's going on anything special well or? this is uh, I hate to say it, this is our uh, uh, Tuesday is our adult night program it's not that you won't see as you can see around you a little bit if you can that there are uh, kids coming off the buses but primarily we sell to adult groups tonight so instead of being really heavy with with kids from school programs and stuff we'll have a little bit of an older crowd this evening a little bit later on what should the people that have never been here know about this place well, there is no, no ski area that is everybody's cup of tea, and, and certainly Willard Mountain will fit into that category. Um, we kind of draw people from around an hour around the Albany area, Saratoga area. Um, primarily, we are teaching mountain, as most local ski areas are. Um, but I guess the one thing I would like to, uh, to say about us is that we're, we're, we're not big, but we're fairly steep. A skier, as you will find out shortly, can come here and, and have a good time. It's just you won't get long runs. Actually, when I pulled up, I was pleasantly surprised to see that main hill up there. That did, you got some good, pretty good steep there, is right? Yep, yep. Nope. There's good, good vertical drop here and stuff. Like I say, there's uh, good skiers. A lot of good skiers with seasons passes that ski here on a regular basis for no other reason than to keep their legs under them so when they get to go to a big resort or get to go out west they can ski all day and and uh, be in shape for it well i know one thing for sure i'm looking forward to getting on this hill because those steeps are looking really good to me right now hey i want to thank you for having me out here today and we're going to go check with some of your people on your hill and we're going to see what they got to say look forward to seeing how you like it thank you little uh, chairlift ride here with John. John, you're a regular here, so uh, tell me a little bit about Willard Mountain. Um, Willard Mountain isn't that big, but I mean, it's worth it. You got some good steep stuff here, though, I see right there on that front end. Yep. What's some of your favorite stuff about this place? Um, well, it's pretty good all, all over and all. Yeah, we're not having a great season as far as snow goes, but at least we're still out here, right? Yeah. Yeah, what's your favorite run over here at Willard? Um, uh, you seem like the kind of guy that doesn't care. You just run anything, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Pretty cool place, though, huh? Yep. Matt, tell me what you like about Willard Mountain here. Um, it's nice size, pretty fun. Got a bunch of jumps, train park. It's a nice mountain. A little bit of something for everybody out here then, huh? Yeah. Who's your bud here? That's Ethan. Ethan. Hey. What are you digging about this place? It's pretty nice size, uh, good service here. They got the train park and they got a good jump down there. We're gonna go hit it right now. You guys are gonna hit that jump? Yeah. Yeah. Try to. All of you are gonna hit it? Yeah. Well, I, I, use, I just do some. I do some like not good tricks, but you know, I could probably do a 360 if I tried. But. That's hey. That's why you're out here just trying, right? Yeah. yeah.
So tell me about that jump you just had. How uh, was that? Pretty good? Yeah, it was sweet. Yeah? Yeah. You like that stuff, don't you? Yeah. So Curtis, you're going to give a little lesson to Rachel here today. Yes, I am. Rachel, how many times have you been skiing? I don't know. You don't know? Not enough, I bet, right? Mm -hmm. There's never no such thing as enough skiing. That's right. How's she making out so far? She's doing pretty well. Yeah? Yeah. We're, What's work a we're working on doing, uh, making our turns more parallel and uh, sliding down you know, the steep parts of the hill where you can't necessarily go straight down on the ice. Right. You know, we got to go a little bit sideways, so that's what we're working on today. What's one of the things you like about Willard Mountain? Uh, you know, the family, the small community here, you know, the, the fact that you know everybody. It's nice really tight-knit nice. knit group then, yeah? Yeah. That's, yeah. that's probably the best thing about Willard. Mountain. You've actually got some pretty good terrain here, too. I like that front side. It's nice and steep right there, too. Give you a little bit of... Uh... It doesn't get much steeper than that. No, no. Yeah. And, and uh, what a shame Mother Nature ain't playing a role. That's right. Are you having fun out here today? Yep. All right. So, Bob, you're Rachel's dad. Yes. And Rachel's down there taking a little bit of a lesson yes. right now. Yes, yes. Let me ask you, what made you decide to have her take a lesson from here instead of maybe teaching the lesson yourself? Well, with kids, one thing you learn is you, it, they're hard to teach things as a parent, things like skiing. They won't listen to you. <laughs> you know, actually, uh, the, you know, I already knew the answer to that question, <laughs> but the reason I asked was because is a lot of parents do try and teach kids yeah, themselves, and I yeah. think they're actually fighting themselves when yeah. they're doing that instead of, yeah. you know, getting the, the, the kid a lesson it, and, and letting them learn from someone that maybe they have to listen to a little exactly. more. Exactly, and I'm... I'm not a skier, I'm a hockey player, and uh, my wife grew up in Colorado skiing, but not me. I grew up in Connecticut playing hockey. And, ah. uh, so uh, she'll listen to me when we're on the ice, but not on the skis. <laughs> ah, she knows where to follow who's got the expertise yes, for what, yes, right? Yes. I see, uh, yeah, you got some poles there. Those aren't hockey sticks. No, no, and they're hard to figure out how to use. I'd be much better with a stick in my hand yeah. going down this mountain. What's one of your favorite things about coming here to Willard Mountain? It's a family-friendly ski area. Kids, I feel safe with Rachel on this mountain. We've gone to bigger mountains where it seems out of control, a lot of people out of control, and it's a little, I'm a little uh, on edge, I find. Here, I, I'm nice and relaxed. And you know what? Being nice and relaxed when you're out skiing definitely plays a yeah. huge role in yeah. how much fun you have out here yes. and whatnot as yeah. well. Yeah, and it's... And you know, a little kid, she's gone to bigger mountains, it's hard for her to get all the way down, her legs are too tired. Here we, we make a quick run, we're back up again, she gets a break, and we're down again. You know? And personally, I think it's better to bring uh, a, a, someone like a student that's out here learning. I think it makes it a little bit easier for them when they're not put under such pressure of maybe something that's got a couple thousand feet of elevation yeah, and, and yeah. something in a nice laid back atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. I so uh, what about you? Have you taken any lessons from I skiing? I probably should. <laughs> Ed's teaching an old dog new tricks, and I don't know. Well, maybe by the time she's done, she'll give you a few I, lessons. I follow them down and try to listen. So he's teaching, too. He doesn't know it. Ah, We're getting a two-for-one. A twofer. 
There's the key right there. Follow up, see what's happening. Hey, I hope you guys have a good All day. Right, thanks. Jim. Yes, sir. You got a whole group of kids out here today. Yes, sir. What's on today's lesson plan? Today we're doing short turns, short swing turns, and now we're into free skiing and a little bit of jumps. So that's what we're going to do right now. Do you guys all like to do jumps? Yeah! Yeah? yeah. 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 Maybe. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Is he a good teacher? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll bet he is. <laughs> all right, you guys have a good time today. because they all made it through that just fine. Did we have fun? Yeah! yeah. You guys are awesome. I made it through just in time. Like that show. Kyle didn't like And I just watched you blow by me at like Mach 3. That's some pretty fast stuff. How long have you been racing? Uh, since I was like six, so 10 years. How often do you get out to race at different places? Um, Just about every weekend we travel around to different places because I ski for Gore too. Ah, I was there yesterday. Nice place. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Pretty fast through there. Um, you know, what is it that someone that wants to get into racing should know about it before they consider it, in uh, your opinion? It's not as easy as it looks, and uh, it takes a lot of practice. I'll give it up for you there. I've actually tried a couple <laughs> gates myself, and, and, and you're right. That's not as easy as it looks. What do you think makes a good racer? Um, I don't know. you got to be determined, and uh, really just got to be able to go for it. You can't be scared of anything. Hard work and dedication. Yep. Well, this is Rachel, and Rachel on the other side of the coin, a girl racer. How long have you been racing? Um, since I was eight. Yeah, what drew yeah. you to the racing? Um, well, I just remember for the first time I was at Gore and my dad was talking to the race director at West and I don't know, I just seemed interested in it. it was just, is it just the speed of it, is it? Yeah, probably yeah. I really like to go fast. You like to, you yeah. like to go fast. 
Now, yeah. when you race, do you race in just a girls' division or do you race in a men's division as well? I just race in the girls' division. Ah. Yeah. But I bet you there's quite a few guys out there you're kicking their butt, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> well, as the moon rises behind me, that'll bring my trip to Willard Mountain to an end. What a really cool place. Real friendly atmosphere here. A lot of young kids running around. Great place for them to come and hang. Don't forget, teach your kids to ski. Keeps them off the streets for a little while, too. Really nice place, family oriented, and got some good steeps here as well. Definitely a place you should be checking out.